Hi, Dr. Mark Brehenna of AskTheDentist.com. So today we're going to unbox a water pick like device. Uh, let me just give you a little background on water pick. So water pick has become a generic term like Xerox has for copiers, that kind of thing. And the reason for that is because they were pretty much the lone wolf in making the water pick. Here is a competitor and I like it. Um, so far, what I've read about it. So we're gonna unbox it and look at it for the first time. Let's talk about water picking in general. So as a young dentist, maybe in the first 10, 15 years of my career, I didn't like water picks. I didn't see any good uh, data on it. There were really no good studies on it. And now I'm the opposite. I've seen what it does for my patients. They're, they now have good studies and a water pick is fantastic. If you're not a good flosser, then I would recommend going to a water pick or maybe the Wibby Top. Water picking is something you should look into, especially if you have bridges, uh, especially if you have a lot of gum recession or if you get food caught in between your teeth. Um, I have one caveat with uh, water picks in general, this type of way of cleaning your teeth. And I'll mention that at the very end of the video. So let's open this thing, okay? So this I hear is almost half the price of the water pick, which is nice. It comes in a black model I'm not sure which one I have here, black or kind of silver chrome. And I think that's nice. People want to, you know, have fun with that and make it look good in their bathroom. People do that with their kitchen appliances. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but kitchen appliances come in many different colors now. People are customizing. So the box opened relatively easy. That's to hold all the uh, water tips. There are quite a few. I'll go over those. Um, Seems a little, about the same size as a water pick. Uh, quality seems nice, nice plastic. Uh, remember when you plug these things in and you fill them with water, make sure this is the water tank and you have to make sure you mount it in the correct. So the water falls into this device and then it gets pumped out via this little, um, this little, uh, they call it a handpiece actually. Um, the thing I don't like about this is that it's complicated. It's a big bulky thing on your countertop, but if it works for you, I would recommend it because it does work and it can prevent gum disease. It can lead to better dental checkups. So the handpiece seems nice. It holds well, it handles well. You have to plug it in, you fill it with water. I would use distilled water. That's just a kind of a maybe overkill, but I wouldn't use tap water and I wouldn't try soda water or anything else or white vinegar or anything you wouldn't want to use in your mouth. Anyway, that's it for the contents. Here's the charger. So essentially, you've got a little readout here. I'm not sure what that does yet, but it's probably very similar to water pick. And oh, where are the tips? I need some tips here. Here they are. Um, anyway, so pick the right tip. Uh, this is the generic tip right here. It's just slightly angled. It's got a mildly sharp tip on it. Uh, you've got a little, looks like a ton scraper. Anyway, all the tips are generally about the same. They're color coded and it just has to do with how much water comes out of the tip. And that actually determines a lot of the pressure. I would always stop, start off with slow pressure. It is adjustable. And here is the on off switch. And where is the pressure switch? It could be, it could be that you have to touch the screen here. I'll plug it in and show you later. Um, anyway, so don't worry about all the tips. That one's too small, I think. That's for uh, people that have gum disease. This tip is soft. Um, I had this uh, patient come in the other day and I realized that he was using this and it was the first time for him. And he had a very unusual situation in terms of bone loss and a little defect on the back of his tooth. He was an elderly man. He wasn't really doing a good job of cleaning it with a toothbrush. So I had him bring in the tips and I showed him which tip to use. And with him holding a mirror, I had him hold the tip in a little, in a certain way. And now he's able to clean that area. So this is a very handy device. This is the generic tip here. It clicks in nicely. It releases nicely with a button. So we're going to load this thing up. Uh, I'm curious to see how it works compared to its main competitor. And that is the water pick. So again, everything's very similar. I'm not using distilled water, but uh, um, this should suffice. A full tub gives you about three sec, uh, sorry, three minutes of uh, water picking or water flossing is the term. And again, water pick has become very generic. So um, that you have to kind of place correctly because there's a little grommet, a little uh, gasket, make sure it's fully seated. There is no cover for this. So if you want to leave it loaded with water, it may get contaminated. 
Um, that could be by design because um, this thing can leak. If you leave this at counter level like this, it can leak. So that's why they have this little holder here. Um, anyway, I'm gonna fire it up. And as I thought, I, when I plugged it in, the little on off switch came on and it has to reach a certain operating pressure. So you have to turn that on. And I can't see it very well from up here. It's a little dull. You have to kind of get down to see it. Um, anyway, so it cycled for a little bit because I used it once before this video and it cycled for a shorter period of time. The first time you use it, it's going to sit there and cycle for a long time to get up to water pressure. So now it's loaded. It has the right pressure. If I uh, put on a tip, it's going to leak a little bit, uh, snap it into place. And then if you turn it on, the water pressure is already there. So these things are noisy. It's not going to turn off when I turn off the off switch because it, I just decreased some of the pressure. It's trying to pump up to a certain pressure before it shuts off. Again, it's a water pump and they're all noisy. And this is one of the lowest settings. That is full strength. So if your spouse is trying to get to sleep and you're a late night flosser, this could be a problem. Anyway, I use it at the lowest to second lowest setting and it's not cycling off yet. And there's the water pressure. So again, that one caveat that I mentioned, always hold the handpiece at this kind of uh, angle. Never shoot straight up into the gums. In the case of the lower teeth, it would be shooting straight down into the gums. Be careful with that. Always around this angle right here. So I'm gonna try it now, ready? So it stopped cycling because it hit pressure. And again, these things are messy. You have to be close to the sink. I've got my paper towels here. Uh, don't wear a good shirt like I am. And here we go. Turn it off before you remove it from your mouth because it's gonna make a mess. You can swallow the water, you can spit it out, it doesn't matter. Anyway, how do these things feel? It's a little weird at first, it takes some time getting used to, but again, if you're not flossing, you, this is basically your only choice to use a water flosser. Um, it's gonna take some time. You've got an investment in machinery and countertop space, but it's well worth using. I've seen the clinical data on this and it, there is efficacy to using this device. So I do recommend them. Um, again, my one caveat, be careful how you use it. What I would recommend is taking these tips in and they come off pretty easily. Just push that button and they pop off. Uh, bring in two of the angled tips and have your dentist show you how to angle them. You may have a tough to clean area. He may have noticed that you have a deep pocket somewhere. Uh, your hygienist or your dentist can actually show you how to hold this and, and how to use it properly. And that would help you a lot. So anyway, that my other one little bit of um, problem I have with this device is the tension on this cord. It should be longer and the tension shouldn't be so great because it, you really have to stay close to the machine to get the tension off of your hand. And if there's a lot of tension on your hand, it's going to affect your dextile dexterity. So again, that's the same problem with all the other water flossers out there. And make sure you store the device so it's pointing up. And, um, and then I would uh, turn it off, which I believe it is. There, that's off. So in the review, I'm going to talk about this tip right here. Um, as I guessed when I unboxed it, it is a tongue scraper. And I'll tell you why it's pretty ridiculous. I'll give you some details on why it is. But if you do buy one before you read the review, just throw this tip away. You won't be needing it. For a full review, subscribe to this uh, channel and uh, we'll get you that information. Thanks for watching.